So here we are joined on BBA TV with Mr. Chris Foster. You've had some amazing success and some accolades in barbering the hairdressing over the years. What would you say is your greatest achievement and also your most fun experience? I headed up um, Fashion Week um, shows for Men's Fashion Week in Moscow, uh, New York and London Fashion Week where I was the creative director for the largest menswear show, 105 guys. It's a large project, but it was really exciting. Also won numerous awards like um, Barber of the Year and recently Ambassador for the Hair Council. Welcome to my barber shop. What do you think? It's pretty cool. You like it? It's good. <laughs> First question for you, who is MK? Well, MK is Muktaru Kongba. Nice. And I've been a barber for about <laughs> six years now. And um, started off in hairdressing and now in barbering, traveling the world, doing my thing and enjoying it. So tell me, why does Denman support the barbering industry in general and the, the BBA in particular? Denman products have always been used by barbers, but the challenge that I have faced over the years is how I can connect with them. They didn't have their own trade magazine, they didn't have their own industry events. One man changed all that, and that was Mike Taylor. And what was the idea behind all these great competitions? Well, to me, I'm, I'm a teacher, and there's not a lot of barroom resources. So first off, I started with a student competition, and then we grew into doing the master's competitions, and the shaving competition, and the patterns competition. So now we actually do seven competitions, and we lead in Britain for barbering competitions, and maybe even the world. You're a barber educator, and you run courses for the BBA. Yeah. Now, how important is it for barbers to keep going on courses? Do you, do you really think they need to once they've qualified? Our industry is continually ongoing and it's, it's a fast moving and growing industry and I think once you stop the, your current education you kind of tend to stay where you are really so I really think that it's imperative that everybody you know it doesn't matter whether they're new to the industry or whether they've been in it 30 40 years. I understand you're from Cyprus and you've got quite a few generations of barbering in your family tell me a little bit about that. My family's been doing barbering for 60 years now and they came over to London in 1943 and opened their first barber shop so I'm third generation and my son's fourth generation barbering. So tell me what is Andy's doing to support British barbering? Well, we've decided that we need to uh, partner with the uh, British barbers and help them develop standards so that they can get the accreditation and the, the recognition that they need, that the industry needs. They are, it's a very elite group and they, they deserve it. There are different levels of state registration. Which one do you have? Um, I've actually got both because I'm a senior state registered barber and senior state registered hairdresser. I was actually the first person ever to gain both the Master Craftsman's in hairdressing and then the Master Craftsman's in barbering. How would you describe your role within the BBA? Inspiring young barbers to achieve their dreams, to really reach out and grasp this wonderful industry and to really go for the highest heights and there is nothing stopping them. So my role I believe is to inspire and to help show people that they can achieve anything in this industry. Britain's best shave master is Luigi! Yeah!